I finally, finally gotten around to filming this introduction to Project 10 Uses. I've been talking about it for ages. I've been showing you the products that's in it in my weekly makeup baskets and I've finally gotten around to filming an introduction. I couldn't really tell you where I first heard about Project 10 Uses. Um, it's kind of one of those projects that sort of goes into the depths of 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 makeup usage history here on YouTube. I don't think anyone really knows who first started it, but I've heard of it mostly through um, Beauty Guru made me do it and Geek Chic and Too Much Tash and it just looks like so much fun and there's a bunch of others that do it as well. And um, it's a great way to get usage out of your makeup, to cycle through it. And um, you know, if you've put something in your Project 10 uses and you're you've had it there for like three updates and you've still not even touched it, maybe you should reconsider whether you want to hold on to it. It's great for um, weeding out the things you don't, you subconsciously don't like but aren't aware of and weeding out all the progs that have gone bad. That's kind of what I want to use it for. So without further ado, let's get going. The main thing that I wanted to use this project for was to cycle through all my lip products and um you know weed out all the ones that are bad um so i have four um of the colorish mattes we have brick vintage i'll swatch that there for you the gorgeous orangey red we have erotique which is a beautiful matte movie pink We have Strike a Rose, which is a surprisingly bright pink. It doesn't look all that vibrant and then you get it on your mouth and it's like, woo, pop. Um, and then we have Hype, which is a bright orange. So there is Hype. I also wanted to cycle through some more of my base products. Um, so I pulled out Lightscapade from MAC. So I pulled this out of my declutter pile and then I was like questioning my decision again. Um, so there is a swatch of light skipade and I will talk about it in a moment. We also have Golden Goddess Triple Bake Highlighter in Goddess of Love from Makeup Revolution. I will show you guys a swatch of that and it has this like um, very bluish pink hue to it. So we've got so much of that there. It's very, very nice. I also threw in two bronzers because I have a lot of, I got a lot of new bronzers last year and I just want to work my way through them, see what ones I like. Um, so we have the NYX matte bronzer in the shade light. It is a bit orangey, a bit yellowy, but it's it works, it works. And then we have the Sun Bronze from Rimmel, which is more of a, um, more neutral leaning than the NYX one. And definitely a bit more like a muddy bronze, like a brown bronze. And lastly, I have two blushes. We have Glowy Rose. which is that guy there and then we have a brilliant peach which I do enjoy a lot they kind of remind me of um they're brilliant peach kind of remind me of our orgasm and super orgasm from NARS um so those were my original 10 picks and as I joked about once in one of my wake up like weekly makeup baskets, by the time I get around to filming this introduction, I will have probably used them all 10 times and be rolling in a bunch of new products. Not quite as drastic as that, but there is, there is at least one product. There is one product that I'm rolling out already. So let's quickly run through our usage since and i've been doing this since the start of january i just never managed to get the intro filmed so we have the nyx bronzer 
which I used it six times in January and I have used it a further one time so far. So we've used this a total of seven times. We have the Rimmel bronzer, which I used five times in January and I've used a further one time. So I've used it a total of six. We have the Radiant Peach blush. Where did I put it here? We have the Radiant Peach Blush, which I used three times in January. It's, it's really, really pretty. Like that much, you, this was basically untouched. It had been swatched a little bit, but all of that usage, I don't know if you can tell in the camera, but all of that from three uses, crazy. And then we have um, Glowy Rose, which I've used once in January. If I hold them up together, you might be able to tell might be able to see the usage difference like that is the rose that's the peach you can see the change in the, the texture hopefully <laughs> then we have light scapade which i wore 10 times in january <laughs> i managed to use it the whole 10 times in january i was so happy i actually think i'm going to roll this into a project pan later in the year i was using this I tried to use it as a highlight it was a bit too subtle and then one day I just used it as a finishing powder like a glowing finishing powder and it was stunning so that's how I've been using this and um, I think that's how I'm going to use it up too so I'm very happy with that, that so I'm rolling that product out and then we have the, um, the golden goddess I used this six times in January and I've used it a further once so it's seven times in total the lipsticks hype is i haven't used it's in my weekly makeup basket at the moment so i'm hoping to get some usage into it um but so far it's the only product that hasn't been used next we have a brick vintage which i have used twice um <laughs> And then we have Erotique, which I have used once. And lastly is Strike a Rose, which I have used four times. So yeah, that is my usage on all of those products and one product being rolled out. I'm, I'm really happy with what I've done with this project so far. Um, I kind of thought that I would be burning through lip products a lot more. Um, I'm finding at the moment I'm reaching more for glosses than lipsticks, but maybe if I leave a lipstick here, because this is where I have a little touch up station, um, I might leave a lipstick in here and then I can touch up every time I'm in here. Um, but yeah, so we'll, we'll probably be seeing quite a few more products being rolled out in the next update. So the product that I'm rolling in to replace Lightscapade isn't another highlight because I've got highlights in my project pans that I want to focus on and use up. So I decided to roll in a primer, mostly because where this sits in the corner of my makeup storage, it stares at me, taunts me, and I just love looking at it. I want it on my face. So I'm throwing it in the Project 10 uses to just sort of curb that craving. This is the Fix and Glow Ultra Glow Primer from Revolution. Out of all of the makeup categories, I think primer is the one that I have the least amount in project pans. So I feel comfortable throwing this into a 10 uses project and hopefully after 10 uses, it'll curb my appetite for the product and I will get a better idea of what I think about it. Um, Cause I've only used this once. It has got a lot of usage, it has got a chunk missing because I did depot some and give it to a friend because I have so many primers. I'm not gonna miss um, 10 pumps out of this, <laughs> you know? And um, so yeah, I will get a good idea of how I like it, how um, how quickly I think I'll be able to go through it, and if maybe I want to throw this in a project pan later in the year. Um, that's, that's another reason why I'm doing the Project 10 uses, so I can get a bit more of an accurate gauge of um, products that I can put in future pans, future project pans. 
so yeah, that is my introduction and my first update all rolled into one nice compact little video for you. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching and bye bye.